Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation. First of all, let's just thank you all for taking time to watch this video. My name is Pasanam Ponchom and I'm here with my team members. They are Nansini Chopnam, Paul Dumin Bamrung and Rai Bun Hong Duong. We are third year students from Kimongkut Institute of Technology Lakabang. What we would like to present today is a study of movement and optimal meeting time of different agitators. Meeting and agitation is one of the most fundamental operations in chemical engineering. Stirred hand were used in the manufacture, such as chemicals, pens, rules, pharmaceuticals, and cosmetics. Suitable mixing times get where we product is important because the more time spent in mixing means the more operating cost we have to pay. The purpose of the experiment is to study the motion in the tank during agitation process and determine the mixing time of different agitator. This is the outline of our presentation. We have divided our presentation in four main parts as follows. First, we will start off by giving you a theoretical background of mixing unit. Then, we will move on to the methodology of experiment. Next, we will show you the experimental results. Finally, we will mention the implication of the data before we conclude our presentation. Let's now begin with the first part. Firstly, I will talk about the definitions of agitation and mixing. Agitation refers to forcing a fluid by mechanical, means to flow in a circulatory or other pattern inside the tank. And mixing usually implies the blending of two or more separate phase, such as a fluid and a powder solid and causing them to be randomly distributed through one another. Next part is flow pattern in agitated vessels. The type of flow in agitated vessel depends on type of impeller, characteristic of fluid such as viscosity, size and proportions of tank, buffers and impeller. The velocity of fluid at any point in tank has three components and the overall of flow pattern in tank depends on the variation in these three velocity components from point to point. Figure 1 shows axial flow, radial flow and tangential flow pattern. Next part is type of agitators. I will talk about the type of agitator that were used in this experiment. The first type is a propeller. This is used for liquid of low viscosity. The flow pattern in the buffer tank with a propeller position on the center of the tank is called axial flow. Figure 2 shows a three blade propeller. And the last type is turbine agitators. The blade may be straight or curved, pitch or vertical. The turbine with flatbed gives a radial flow. Figure 3 shows straight bed and this blade turbine. Next part is mixing time. The definition of mixing time is the time to reach complete mixing or 99% of mixing achieved if the contents of the tank are circulated about 5 times. This graph is used for finding the mixing time. The horizontal axial shows Reynolds number and the vertical axial shows mixing time factor. Line A to line E represent type of agitators. Next, I will pass you over to Bai Bun Thong Duong who is going to talk about the methodology. Methodology. This topic will tell you about agitation and mixing implementation step. Section 1. Study about agitation. First, install popular set as standard configuration. Second step is set 36 revolutions per minute of motor and switch motor on. Step 3. Add potassium permanganate 1 gram into mixing tank and start cow time. 
Observe for a pattern of purple color in mixing tank. Next, step 4. Sampling potassium permanganate solution in mixing tank every 13 seconds until we can observe that potassium permanganate solution in tank is well mixed and then record time. Take more sample for 2 minutes. Step 5. Turn off motor and take potassium permanganate solution away from mixing tank. Step 6. Repeat step 1 to step 5 but change popular to 6 better by. Section 2. Finding concentration of potassium permanganate solution sample from section 1. First, service spectrophotometer on set wavelength at 520 nanometer. Next, calibrate spectrophotometer by use water at bed line. Next step is record absorption value of potassium permanganate solution sample. Final step is pot relation between absorption and mixing time. Now I will pass you over to Paulung Nimam Lung who will tell you about finding. Now I will move our presentation to a part of finding. This experiment is divided into two parts. First is to study about the fluid flow pattern when using different types of propellers that are the popular and the curved by. Let me use the videos to explain this. As the video, when we using propeller, the fluid flow is an axial flow. That is, the fluid is compressed to the bottom of the tank and circulated up and down in the three axis. But when we using turbine, the fluid flow pattern is radial and tangential flow. That is, the turbine makes fluid spread radially, and when it hits the wall of the tank, it will separate into two directions that are spinning up or swelling down to the bottom of the tank. And the second part is to study a missing town when using turbine and propeller. The objective is to compare a mixing time by using three different methods. The first method is the measurement of an absorbance of potassium permanganate at the various time. From this graph, it is found that an absorbance that obtained by using turbine began to be stable at 144 seconds. That is faster than using propeller. The result is using turbine takes less mixing time than using propeller. And the next method is observing the solubility of potassium permanganate with the naked eyes. And the mixing time is the time that the eyes see potassium permanganate completely dissolved in the water. And the result is using turbine takes less mixing time than using propeller. And the last method, we calculated a mixing time by using the relevant correlation graph and the result is using turbine takes less mixing time than using propeller. And now I will pass you to Pasanan Ponchom who will tell you about the conclusion. For implication, we can use this experimental result to shoot a proper agitator for mixing a substance with water. However, each substance has a lot more mixing time so in the manufacture. This experiment can be a guideline to find an optimal mixing time of other substance. We are now approaching the end of our presentation. I would like to briefly summarize the main point our group has covered. In the beginning, we have given you a theoretical background of mixing unit, explain three types of flow pattern, anexial, radial, and tangential flow pattern. After that, 
we have shown you the maturity of experiment. We choose two types of agitator, a popular and turbo agitator to study. Then we have shown you the experimental result. Form result indicate that a propeller give an axial flow pattern and turbine simultaneously give radial and tangential flow pattern. For missing time, turbine require less missing time to get a well mix. And finally, we have mentioned to the implication. Show that the implication that this experiment can use to shoot a proper agitator. We hope you will find our presentation useful. Thank you for watching.